How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be giving you five super helpful tips to improve your aim straight away in Valorant. If any of these tips help you out, make sure to leave a like on the video to help the YouTube algorithm. You guys are going to want to stay tuned and watch the whole video because these tips are super important if you're going to want to improve your Valorant aim. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first tip we have for you guys today, and arguably the most important, isn't actually to do with Valorant itself, but instead on this website called GamerPros.gg. When starting to play a new FPS game, it is crucial that you guys convert your sensitivity from any other FPS games that you have been playing, whether that be Overwatch, CSGO or Apex Legends, to the Valorant sensitivity. That's what this site does for you. Enter your sensitivity from your favourite FPS and the DPI of your mouse and it will automatically convert your sensitivity to fit Valorant. Next, just go into the settings in-game and change your sensitivity to match. By doing this, you are keeping your muscle, the muscle memory that you have built up in any other FPS games and you won't have to start again from scratch when playing Valorant. You'll be one step ahead of the curve when jumping into the game. Now that we've got the boring stuff sorted, we can get right into some of the advanced mechanics of the game. As you may already be able to tell, moving while shooting isn't a thing in Valorant. It causes your aim to be pulled off and your gun to spray wildly when shooting. This is when we introduce counter strafing. Counter strafing allows you to suddenly come to a stop after moving and have precision accuracy. Normally letting go of the movement key is enough, however in Valorant the only way to have pitch perfect aim is to be standing still. Strafing just refers to holding the A or D key and moving left or right. Counter strafing however is actively countering that movement by pressing the opposite key to the direction you are moving. This fully stops all movement and brings you to a standstill almost straight away. You may not notice a difference, however in a higher level gameplay counter strafing is super important and you won't be able to climb high if you don't master this technique. Unfortunately we can't skip tip number 3 because it's arguably the most important tip on this list and that is spray control. Taking 5 minutes out of your day or before games to learn the spray control of each weapon is vital in becoming a better aimer in Valorant. Unfortunately there are no shortcuts in this step except for hard work and practice. Now you don't have to memorize the spray pattern of every weapon, but just some of the most common weapons like the Vandal. Doing this will drastically improve your skill in Valorant because not many people can be bothered to put in the hard work and dedication that is required to memorize these patterns. If you do this, then you'll definitely be one step ahead of the players that you face. If you enjoyed the video so far, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it helps out a ton. We're currently pushing for that 1000 subscriber mark, so uh, I would appreciate it greatly. Step number four is all about crosshair placement. Now you would think that professionals are the best aimers in the world. Well that might be the case, but more often than not, the pros don't really have to aim. That's because when walking around corners, they are preemptively placing their crosshair where their opponents will be. They keep their crosshair at head level and move around the map, making sure that their crosshair is placed on where opponents will be. That way, if an enemy does appear, they don't have to flick their mouse to their head and then shoot, the crosshair will already be aimed at the enemy's head and therefore all they have to do is left click and shoot. I can't stress how important this tip is and when mastered just how much it will improve your aim. A lot of people subconsciously aim their crosshair at the floor so when the time comes to shoot they have to consciously aim to the person's head then left click and then control the spray. It just adds in more room for error and a greater time for the opponent to get a head start on the shootout. Now, I know earlier I said that learning spray control patterns will greatly improve your aim. That is correct, however, knowing when to spray and when to tap or burst fire is a very important skill to learn as well. When an enemy is far away, you don't want to be showing off to your team your perfect spray control that you've been practicing. <laughs> Because the chances are your spray control isn't perfect and you'll miss a lot of bullets. It's more practical at long distances to make use of the first bullet's 100% accuracy and tap shots at the opponent. Because your first bullet is always 100% accurate, you can take advantage of that at long distances compared to holding down the left mouse button like your life depends on it. The further away a target is, the harder the spray is to control, so that's when burst fire comes in. Burst fire is just firing 3-6 to six bullets at a target from medium to long range and pulling down your mouse slightly to compensate for the slight recoil that occurs. Now that's all the tips I have for you today. If you have any questions or want me to make more of these videos, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I'll respond right away. Like the video if you enjoyed it and share the videos with your friends if you found it helpful. We're pushing for that 1000 subscriber mark, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Later.